It's very quiet around here. It's quite peaceful. Amazing. Look at this hotel room. Just check this out. They brought our bags in. Like, that's some fancy ish. And then, like, what does the bottom look like? Oh, <gasps> we can bar. For all you Cape Tonians, I can have a bar. Sorry, Liz. Wow. Candles. I've got to come. I've got to come back here. i got to come back here. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Come with this. Look at the cupboard. Yo. Okay, so, got to hurry because everybody's getting ready. I'll, uh, so far is about to leave. The idea behind this entire day is that we're gonna use the phone to take photos. Here it is, the Huawei P20 Pro. This is the one they gave me that's got to cover this time. I can't show you the back, but we'll go into more detail about some of the phone specs uh, a little bit later. Maybe not in this video, another one, because I'm gonna be using this. I think I'm gonna use this one to vlog a bit. This, I think, by the sounds of things, I think the vlogging part of this phone is completely underappreciated. And Huawei really came to the party with the P20 Pro, just in general, just like in, when it comes to visuals, this seems to be the phone we're doing. Anyway, I'm gonna take a couple of Instagrams. You guys can check me out on Instagram. First, I need a P. And I need to take you with me. Thanks. Wow, so this place is exceptional. Wow, we're really came to the party on this place. I'm excited to get onto this safari, this game drive, because in fact, this is my, my first game drive. Being in South Africa and being on my first game drive, everyone thinks I'm, I don't know, avoidant of games. Look at this place. Can you see that? Wish I was staying here longer. They do have the big five, which is like all the big five animals. So I'm really excited to hopefully see them all. I don't know if we will see them all. Do you guys, do you think we'll see the old big five? Yeah! We hope so! <laughs> wow, this is just like Jurassic Park. Get into like a freaking car, but like it's literally like one of these things. This is just like Jurassic Park. <laughs> do we get to see t <laughs> Yo, look at these things. Hey look, it's uh, Ariel. Go sub her on Twitch. Go follow her on Twitch. Hey! I'll put a link no in the description. The no petting animals, we won't. Oh yes, that's the other thing. Guys, we're also here with Shot Left. Shot Left are like a, a tourism entity in South Africa just to get people out in South Africa just to do cool stuff because there's a lot of cool stuff to do. This is our vehicle, guys. I want a window seat! Huawei P20 Pro video that I made, we focused a lot about the gaming and how great the engine is for gaming. But now I actually want to talk about more the camera. Obviously we're going to be using the camera a lot and there's a whole bunch of different kinds of built-in features that the phone has that make photography rather easy but also a lot of different options a lot easier and more accessible for people who don't know how to use a camera or want to be able to use a camera properly. So we're going to be testing out a bunch of them. The first one that I'm actually really excited about is Aperture. It allows you to take Aperture photos naturally in a way that a, in a way that a DSLR would but without uh, having to understand ISO. If you do understand ISO and you want to do more complicated stuff there's a pro mode uh, that you can go through and uh, try out a bunch of things i'm probably not going to use it right now today i'm going to take a lot of this there's something there's an elephant there's an elephant you saw it how can you miss an elephant <laughs> oh, there it is jurassic park it's so far away guys northwest 75 oh yes i don't know if you can see it but it's like over there that's not a rock, that's an elephant, people. It's showing us his butt. Oh, it's moving. Cheers, bro. Look, it's a, it's a hippo. Oh, a lot of hippos. Yo, they're just chilling. Hey, friends. It's another angle. It's got a baby. There's a rhino. There's rhino. Oh, oh my word. Baby rhino. There's rhinos and impala. Wow. Rhino in a natural habitat. In a game reserve. Looking at the car, like it's gonna smack the car. I don't know what's gonna do, look, but look at these guys. These guys are really close, eh? I don't know why I'm speaking like this. <laughs> what kind of what kind of buck are these guys? Impala. 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 Okay, cool. Impala. Right. So we've discovered that there's an elephant up the road ahead. Look at that. Wow. Oh my crap.
sun is setting. Oh, well, one second. What are we having here? Just having a drink. Oh, oh my word. Should we go to the hide? So we can go to that hide. Yeah. Those people are standing. Let's do it. Yeah, come. Let's get a close up. Come guys, the electric fan. This is Jurassic Park. Just uh, more proof that this is just pretty much Jurassic Park. Waiting for John Hammer to pop up and uh, tell me that uh, he's cloned a uh, Velociraptor. We just had dinner and uh, we're headed back to a hotel room. Uh, we have a big day tomorrow. I'll chat to you when we're over there. It's just so incredible just being out in the bush, like coming back from London. It's been like, I haven't had nature actually since coming back from London. Like it's been like two years. And if you are South African, you'll know that nature is a big part of us and who we are. So it's focus. <laughs> there we are, we're back in focus. Like I don't know what I do. Like we, we, used, we do like a lot of outdoor stuff. Like at least once a year you go out into like the wilderness and you do something either to the beach or to the, to the wilderness. And it was really cool that we got to do this. Really cool. Everyone's waiting for me. Guys, stop waiting for me. What's going on? All right. I was so tired last night that I didn't even like get to, to vlog. I went to shower and I went to bed. So, good morning. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. I've got to open up the curtain. Whoa. Guys, Africa is beautiful. Today, apparently, uh, we're going to go quad biking. Um, which I may or may not film. Uh, there's, uh, we're also going back today. Today's kind of a bit of a rush. Helensburg is kind of like two hours away from the airport, so I've got to get on that. I'm just really impressed with this device, guys. Um, and I'm super grateful that I got, guys, I've got a freaking, they, they gave me one. Like, that's, I was really upset when I did the review that I had to give it back. And they were just like, yeah, take it back. And have it. And I was like, sweet. The couple of things that I learned yesterday from using the P20 Pro for, for the day, for, for a very weird use case. I think coming to a game reserve is fun. It's a strange use case, but it does showcase what we can do with the phone and what I'm very excited about. Firstly, it's got multiple zoom distances um, that are built into the into the phone. There's like one times, three times, and five times zoom, which is really useful. The AI is actually surprisingly really good. If you guys don't know how to take photos and you don't really care about Snapseed or uh, anything that's used. What? Stop texting me. If you don't really care about Snapseed or anything you use to edit a picture, it's a good option. It really is because it, it would do stuff like it detected landscapes and brought out the, the shadows so that I could see inside what landscapes they were for, for sunsets. It's tweaked like some of the rays in the sunsets so that you could see them properly. It recognized faces, pulled it into portrait mode, recognized the sky, made the sky bluer. Like I, that's kind of my aesthetic anyway, just by default on my Instagram. If you go check it out, it's a lot of super saturated colors um, like my hair obviously and I like to, to make those things pop so for a phone to actually do it automatically I'm gonna try do it order for a while if you guys can comment and let me know and even for a use case like at a game reserve just catching animals that are at kind of a distance uh, I was able to get some really good shots when it comes to day-to-day -day stuff it can totally replace it completely and I know like there'll be some picture files out there who will be like oh this is not quite what we need for game reserves or nature photography but yes you need like massive lenses but if you don't have a massive lens this is incredible and what photos I was able to produce with a lens that's essentially like the size of a coin less like uh, it's just incredible but I am excited to to use it around the city and see what I can do in different environments I think an urban landscape would work actually better and portraits and people and gear and tech and stuff I think close-ups look incredible and even the AI even rec recognizes food guys it's like it sees your plate of food and recognizes it as food that's impressive the other thing if you guys are thinking about getting a p20 pro the other thing I'd recommend getting from an accessory perspective is either you have a tripod or like a miniature tripod it's got a night mode which you put up and uh, take a photograph of it's madness because even on a DSLR I struggle to get light but what it's doing I think it's taking like three pictures doing it long exposure and then 
trying to sync it into one image that's sharpened uh, so it makes the actual image look great. I tried to do that last night we were at, around those fires, but it, it wasn't the right environment. The fire is moving, my hand is moving, it's it's not static. But if you're in a, if you're in a street, I think that would look, would look a lot better, or if you're at home by yourself, I think it would be a lot easier. But that, coupled with some of the special effects things like, like trails of light and softened water, I think is really cool. Okay, my battery's about to die. I'm not gonna be able to record this quad biking. <laughs> Silly grind. I'll see you guys uh, in another video in Cape Town. Bye bye, stranger. Cheers.